Welcome back friends. Now now let's solve this pedigree problem. Now they are providing us this question and they have told us that what is going to be the pattern of this particular disease. Now how to solve this kind of question. Now again there are four different possibilities autosomal dominant, autosomal recessive, sex link dominant and sex link recessive right. So, so first of all we need to follow whether it is a dominant or recessive. So again the rule so first of all we need to follow dominant or recessive and then we need to follow whether it is a autosomal or sex link so this is how the whole process works now in this case by looking at the pedigree what we can tell that uh, uh, for the dominant and recessive so for the dominant there is a empirical rule for solving and for for knowing that whether it is a dominant or recessive now in dominant whatever infection happens to the parent it must be transferred to at least one of their children in the next generation that's what we are talking about right if the parents are uninfected they must not be transferred any they, they must not transfer any kind of disease in the offspring so that is the empirical rule so in dominant trait if one of the parents are infected in any case if one of the parents are infected they are going to transfer this particular infection into their offspring in in, in some way right but uh, if this is not dominant and obviously if, if both of the parents are uninfected too there is no way for their offspring or children to be infected so that is the trait for dominant right so you should be clear about this particular concept right so now let's look at here so here it is a parent is affected children are affected this is a parent affected children are affected so far following the rule of autosomal dominant now but this this category what we can see parents are uninfected but the ch this child is infected so what it is telling us it is going against this particular law i have told you that if both of the parents are uninfected there is no way of transferring the disease to their offspring if the disease is following the, the dominant uh, pattern so that means it is not following the dominant pattern but if because if it is following the dominant pattern it should not uh, transfer the gene into one of its children right so that is telling us it is not dominant so that means it is a recessive trait so first of all what the answer we get this is a recessive trait so this is first important observation of ours now let's follow whether it is a autosomal recessive or a sex linked recessive right so for that reason what we need to look we need to look for whether there is any sex biased or not and what we can follow here that there is no such sex biased so all of these traits are distributed in male and female both equally distributed almost equally distributed so it is uh, kind of telling us that it is not going to be a sex linked it is mostly autosomal but we cannot be sure until and unless we use uh, the genotypic analysis in this case right because it must be done in all this case I always recommend students to follow the genotypic analysis so let's follow the genotypic analysis in this case too so if you follow the autosomal type of uh, trait so it's a recessive now let's follow the autosomal type so autosomal recessive traits what we can see uh, the trait only be shown if it is a homozygous recessive so uh, once we are having small a small a if a is the particular gene it will lead to disease if there is a capital a small a there will be no disease because one gene capital a is fine so it will uh, complement the activity of other uh, disease genes so it will lead to no disease and if this is a capital a capital a no way of getting disease so uh, both this case capital a capital a and capital a small a are going to produce normal progeny on the other hand small a small a is the only particular uh, genotype that is going to cause the diseased uh, or diseased uh, person right now in this case let's say so this is a diseased one so we'll put a small a small a here and now this particular individual is not diseased so it could be capital a small a or it could be capital a capital a we don't know what is uh, the exact genotype of this particular uh, male now in the next generation uh, let's find the offspring so this one is uninfected this is infected so infected means we're having small a small a small a small a and also small a, uh, so these are the infection and here we can see uninfected so uninfected means if it is a capital a small a so it, it can be uninfected so capital a small a this particular individual is also capital a small a let's say this one is also capital a small a so if we consider this capital a small a as the genotype of this particular male then uh, these are uh, going to be the different genotypes in the second generation now let's follow the third generation 
the third generation that we are seeing here is this one right so this particular individual is affected this is from other uh, uh, family tree so let's put the infection here so it is infected so infected means small a small a now uh, this this female or mother is having a capital a small a but the father is having a small a small a now let's look at the offspring so here in this case uh, this is infected to so small a small a this is uninfected so capital a small a so you can put it here this is again capital a small a uninfected so this is infected so small a from the father small a from uh, mother this is again uninfected capital a from mother small a from father and again this is infected so small a from father small a from mother this one is uninfected and capital a from mother and small a from father and again this last one again capital a from father small a from mother so uninfected right that's done and again in this case this particular uh, individual is mating with this male and this male is uninfected so this male is going to have any of uh, these two particular traits so it is going to have either a capital a small a or a small uh, or a capital a capital a right because it is uninfected so either the way but what we are seeing one of their ch child is affected right so this is a, a capital a from mother capital a from father let's say so uninfected this one is uh, infected that means it must have a capital a small a small a now for having two small a one small a is coming from mother for sure but another small a must come from the father so that is telling us that the genotype for this particular father must be a capital a small a otherwise this particular individual cannot get two small a's right so that is telling us that that is telling us to eliminate this possibility of having capital a capital a so this individual must have a capital a small a now this one is again capital a small a from uh, capital a from father small a from mother and this one is a capital a from mother small a from father so we can literally explain whole pedigree using autosomal trait and also we have seen that this is a recessive trait so using this value what we know that first of all this is recessive now we can know that this is autosomal so the trait is autosomal recessive in nature so that's how we can find our answers